How were the earth and sky created? Where do the stars come from? What connects us to the rest of the universe? Every civilization has developed its own version of history. And the stories are so wonderful, they still ring true. Using the tools of science, humankind is still searching for an answer. And so, a new myth takes shape. It's a story about the unimaginable magnitude of the universe. A story constantly rewriting itself. We don't even know if the story has an ending. But let's tell it anyway. 13 billion, 700 million years ago, the universe we observe today was much smaller than a grain of sand. In the most tremendous expansion of all time, in a fraction of a second, the universe expanded to become billions of kilometers wide. In this ultra-dense chaos of incredibly hot matter, elementary particles collided so often and so violently that atoms had no chance of forming. After expanding and cooling down for 300,000 years, the temperature of our universe had dropped to just a few thousand degrees. In these less extreme conditions, electrons finally settled into their orbits around atomic nuclei. Freed from the constant interaction with electrons, light particles called photons were able to escape into space. And so the universe became transparent. While the original photons sped off to infinity, the last witnesses of the very first instance of creation. But as the universe continued to expand, matter was not alone in space. There was also a mysterious, invisible substance, dark matter. Together, they obeyed a phenomenon that was now to play a starring role, the force of gravity. Attracted to itself, the fantastic mixture condensed into increasingly dense filaments, made up of millions of galaxies, isolated or grouped into clusters. Here's our galaxy, the Milky Way. 200 billion stars, in which atoms are subjected to heat and density conditions similar to the ones prevailing when the universe began. 200 billion hydrogen bonds, whose internal gravity prevents them from exploding into space. But how did this gaseous universe of hydrogen and helium turn into solid planets like the Earth? In a process that repeats itself infinitely, massive stars burn their fuel and produce heavier residues like oxygen, carbon and iron. With a diameter many times greater than the distance between the Earth and the Sun, massive stars burn for millions of years before running out of fuel. When they do, their cores collapse in just a few seconds. Their outer mantles are flung into space in the form of gas clouds. At the center, all that remains is a stellar corpse, a spinning neutron star a dozen kilometers wide. For weeks and months, this supernova illuminates space more brightly than the brightest star. But stars do not die in vain. They seed the universe with new elements, like this carbon atom, that end up as part of the gas and dust clouds of a nebula. In fact, nebulae are nurseries for the stars that continuously form in the galaxies. In some places, where the temperature isn't too high, these molecular clouds, consisting mainly of hydrogen, contract under the effects of gravitation.
Over the next few million years, the cloud transforms into an incandescent ball with a small mass like our sun. Complex atoms ejected by supernovas amass around the young star. This stellar belt of mixed elements finally condenses into planets as different as Jupiter, Saturn and Earth. was formed four billion six hundred million years ago. Bombarded by meteorites and rocked by earthquakes, the Earth surrounds itself with an atmosphere rich in water vapor and carbon dioxide. As the temperature gradually cools, a downpour lasting several million years begins. Our blue planet owes its color to the bacteria and algae that produce the oxygen in its precious protective atmosphere. And this is where the adventure of life begins. Today, if we observe the night sweeping across the planet, hundreds of luminous specks light up. Compared to the universe and all its stars, this is fairly insignificant. Yet, it's another stage in the journey of matter. Humankind, in darkness, forever seeking light.